Hello everyone and welcome back to Billy Execution Technology. Dear all, today in this video tutorial, okay, we shall see five different ways to find areas in AutoCAD. So I brought you how to find areas in AutoCAD. Okay, that too in five different ways. So uh, I hope guys you will enjoy my videos. Okay, uh, you will enjoy my tutorials. And um, before proceeding, okay, I would like to request you to please like my video and share with your friends. And then please don't forget to subscribe my channel. And please keep your support. Okay, keep supporting me by liking, subscribing, and sharing with your friends. Okay. So today we shall see um, five different ways to find areas in AutoCAD. So how can you do that? Okay. So before the going ahead, uh, let us set first of all our unit so that we get uh, areas in a particular unit we want. Okay. So to set up your unit, you need to type um from your keyboard. Okay. Just type um then press enter. Okay, so you are drawing the hmm, dialog box APO here. See, your uh, like uh, what we call default unit is in inches. Okay, that is imperial unit. I don't want in imperial unit. Okay, so I want in metric, which means in meter and all. Okay, so I will set my unit as meter. And whatever here, you can keep it like that. Like that also. No problem, you can change it or keep it like that. Okay. So, so whatever you need, you like, you set it. Okay. I want it in meter, so I have set it in meter. Alright. So let us click OK. Now, our unit has been set to um, what we call meters. Okay. That is metric. Hmm. Now let us draw a simple rectangle or a square. Okay, um, so that it is um, easier for us to verify and uh, draw the geometry as well. Okay, so for just for the tutorial purpose, I'm drawing you a simple rectangle. Okay, so okay, I will I will draw a rectangle by. Uh, Full length, okay. PL, you press PL for full length and enter. Okay, now you click first point here anywhere. Okay, I click here. Now you take this file straight away, or you can click this auto mode on so that it gives you horizontal direction. Okay, with a moving here and here. Okay, now you whatever dimension you need you press that one and click enter okay so now in this direction okay in this direction i need five meter okay just press five meter uh, or five i mean from your keyboard okay so already we have pressed in uh, or you need in meters so if you want five uh, meters then you just press five in your keyboard and press enter okay so, only that much is the five the zoom and you you want downward you bring just your uh, this cursor to downward okay now say you want uh, your length already I have given as five okay so now say you want your width as four meter so press four and press enter okay so now here you don't need to 
जो एनिमल यू जस्ट लाइक दिस ट्रेस यू ट्रेस द व्हाट वी कॉल जोइन ओके जोइन लाइन एंड देन यू क्लिक हियर एंड यू जोइन शेयर ओके सो दिस इज योर रेक्टेंगल 5 मीटर बाय 4 मीटर स्ट्रेस ओके 5 मीटर लेंथ एंड 4 मीटर व्हाट वी कॉल विड ओके so now um, yeah let us check our unit DLI from here it is here it is 5 meter so whether it is 5 meter or not let us see so it is 5 meter okay yeah and then here is 4 meter right so you can see hmm. okay. so basically it is very easy for us to calculate area okay so uh, area of this rectangle is 20 meter square okay so now if if the shape is very difficult one so in that uh, case it is very difficult for you to calculate or it may take you a long time to find out the area okay so in that case it will be different okay but for us okay we are taking an easy one okay uh, if you want uh, you can practice by yourself also or if i get time let us let us see i may explain you how to find uh, some like complicated safe area also okay now now in order get how can you find the area okay let me show you that here by by looking at the drawing dimension we can easily find out okay by mouth also by calculating everything like very easy since it is 5 meter by 4 meter so press uh, from your calculator 5 into 4 it will come as 20 meter uh, square okay 20 square meter okay. so now from auto -care, how can you do that okay there will be five ways to find uh, areas okay the first one I will like to show you uh, by um, pressing AA. Okay, AA is the area command. Okay, so if you press AA, you will see on your screen the area command. Okay, so you just press it there, hmm. the area command will be selected. Okay, now you can see here in this here toolbox or command box okay sorry command box so you can see the object here okay this is the, you select that object okay you select that one and next you click the object which is your object this rectangle okay this rectangle is your object so you click here to find your area okay so let us click now to see how much is the area whether it is 20 square meter or not okay so let us see see here it is showing 20 meter in on your screen uh, on your screen you can see okay see i hope you can see it is written as 20 meter and length uh, it is written as 18 okay so since your uh, dimension is in meter so it is 20 meter square or square meter okay and line will be in 8 uh, meter hmm, 80 meters all right this is one way okay by pressing a and then select object and which uh, object you want to find area you just click on it and your area will be shown on your screen okay so i hope you will do it easily now let's move to next area command okay the next area command is it's very simple okay like heads okay you can if uh you can you can has this rectangle if uh, to find the area also okay if you miss whatever way you like you can uh, choose it okay i'm showing basically five ways okay yeah. so let us uh, has this rectangle okay? hmm. To, to to hatch it you need to um just press h from your keyboard okay and then press enter okay see 
here also uh, asking you to pick the internet port. See, you can see on your screen, pick internet port. Okay, so you click anywhere here. Okay, anywhere here you can click to pick your the internet port. Just click it and you press enter. Okay, so now you're hedging. Oh, sorry, your uh, rectangle has been hedged. Okay, so to find this uh, area, okay, now what you can do is the same command you can use AA, the first one. Okay, so press AA and enter and select object and window. Now, uh, unlike the um, first one you don't have to select this rectangle okay you just select H area you click on it yeah, and then your area will be displayed on your screen okay so you click it and see here in, in this person your 20 meter is appearing and this or displaying okay and let me show you again a object Select the object, your area is appearing here. Okay, now here at the bottom. Okay, nearby your command, uh, what do you call box? Okay, so that, that is our two ways. Now, other three ways are still there. Okay, so what next? The next is properties. Okay. So in your properties, your area will also be shown. Okay. So let us first delete this one, this hatching area. Okay. So only our rectangle element here now. Okay. So for first one we have used double A and the second one we used H. Okay. By using H, we find the whole area. Now next is uh, from your properties also you can see what is the area of this rectangle okay so to do that uh, you just need to select this one okay and then press p r properties okay see your properties uh, what we call box related here okay and then down there you will find general 3D resolution and geometry. Okay, here in this geometry section, you will see your area. See this one, it is written as here, right? So, how much it is written? It's 20, right? See, we, will, we already know now, know that 5 into 4 is 20, right? 20 meters square. So, your power. The, the first one and second one also right okay it's be right hmm. i hope you're getting okay and if you don't understand anything you can comment down hmm, and ask me right now we have completed three ways to find um areas in autocad right now next is what next we can uh, find by list command okay how can you do that? To find your areas by this command, you need to select okay, like properties only. Huh. Like properties only, you can find by selecting this object. Okay, you first select this one and like properties PR. Okay, we find by that typing PR and then by selecting by looking at geometry. Okay, in properties to uh, dialog box. Okay. Now here we shall uh, type li. Okay? Li means for S1 for this command. Okay. Li is the shortcut command of this. So by pressing li from your keyboard, you can find your area. Okay. So press enter after pressing li. Enter. Now you see list one. One object found. Okay. Here. This one. Hmm. Now you would check down here the area for this here written as 20, right? And length is 18 meter. <laughs> length means perimeter here, okay? 
since it is verified. Hmm. Twenty me. There is here, here also in your list. Come on, here twenty is showing in your area. Okay, so it's very easy. Okay, not that tough. Hmm. Last but not the least. Now let us see the fifth number that we have. Okay, the last command that is. Uh, from your ma measure toolbar, okay. So you can find your areas in uh, your measure toolbar. So to do that, you 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 be in home, okay, home menu here, and you come here straight away. Okay, right side here. This one you can see my cursor. Okay, there is a uh, utilities there. Okay, you press this drop down menu, or you just bring the, your cursor. It will display the drop down menu and here in measure you just click here okay there are lots of options either you don't need to go there because we want only area to find here so click to area okay you click here and like the first one okay a -A command a -A commands okay you need to select your object here from your command box okay click your object <laughs> select this object here area is showing as 20 meter square okay and length is 18 meter that means 20 meter okay so all of the commands when you are giving you the same result right hmm. so that means all commands are exact equal and accuracy is same in all the commands right then okay so those are the five ways of finding areas in AutoCAD. Okay. So whatever options or whatever commands that you like, you can choose. Okay. And find your areas. Okay. So enjoy yourself and other um, complicated steps. You also try it. Okay. And I hope you will uh, get the result. Okay. Um, so that's the end of our video and we shall see in the next video okay whatever i bring to you okay so please don't, don't forget to subscribe my channel because i used to bring um, those useful videos like this most frequently okay and um, i used to upload side work videos also okay project work or practical work i uh, wish you should not miss uh, miss okay which you should not mix okay and then like all other civil engineering related information also you can get in my channel hmm. all other like civil information all right so basically i'm a solid engineer so i will be uploading mostly solid engineering stuff okay so if you want to know or want to get more honest or uh, regarding site engineering then you better all subscribe my channel and don't forget to press bell icon to get any updates okay as soon as i upload videos all right so that much only and those are the five different ways to find videos in not a good, okay and if you know any other ways to find videos then please do comment below okay um like if actually i'm feeling sleepy okay i made this video at 1 a.m okay that to midnight so i'm feeling sleepy okay so my voice is not that much clear huh. so i'm putting uh like lots of pressure on myself okay and then working hard to bring you more useful videos like this so please understand it understand that and uh, do subscribe and channel okay uh, it can motivates me a lot to make successful videos to you so for today that much only thank you see you again bye